In this video we're going to look at how you can use the query feature on a browse window to find the objects that you're looking for. In this particular example we've got the um, browse objects window open and you can see that there's some sample data. What we're going to do then is click on the query button and it opens up a query by example settings window. Right now we have no saved queries what you can do is stay on the Query Settings tab and insert a new query. There's a drop-down list for the fields. I'm going to pick the accession date and we're going to say that it is equal to and we'll pick a value of April the 14th 2009. And if I say OK you'll notice that a lot of the sample data has now disappeared. The remaining objects that you see all have the same accession date of April 14, 2009. If I go back into the query window, I can further refine my search by adding another line. And what I'll do is I'll say where, say, the location name contains uh, the number 2. And you'll see up here in this uh, column that there's locations 1, 2, and 3. So if I then say OK, the locations 1 and 3 uh, related objects drop out of the list and what you're left with are the number of objects that were um, in location 2 with an accession date of April 14, 2009. I can go into the query window one more time and I can save this query if I think I'm going to reuse it. The way you save it is to give it a name. I'll just call it test and then I can click Save. And what happens then is I can clear the query and all the objects in my uh, archive come back. But the next time I go into the query window, I can go to Saved Objects, click on Test and say Load It. And then click OK. And it performs the same uh, query action to provide you with a subset. So that's the way um, queries work within browse windows and you can have as many queries on file as you need. You can use it whenever you need to to help you locate uh, the objects that you're looking for.